So, the time has come for Halloween to finally be here. Hi guys, um, today I'm going to be doing a ghost story. Um, ever since I did um, videos or lives on my TikTok, that it's just the same as my um, YouTube, Queen of Halloween, if anybody wants to go ahead and follow me the, over there. Uh, same with my Instagram, Queen of Halloween. Um, I have the Grim Reaper makeup look. Um, ever since I have said that I'm a psychic medium on social media, I'm just going to take these off. Um, people have been requesting for me to do ghost stories. I tried to do this last year for Halloween, but it never really happened. So I'm doing it again. Also, I'd just like to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my YouTube channel. We now have 300 subscribers. So yes. So if I were you, I would get in the dark, get in your comfies and get some snacks because I'm going to do a ghost story. I am going to be doing them in kind of order, kind of. So from the last less creepy kind of horry to more creepy and horry as it gets closer and closer to Halloween. So this is um my first ever ghost story. There's two parts of it so let's get on with it. So this ghost story is in the graveyard and I was let me just set the scene. So I wanted to go on my bike and um, I wanted to go through the graveyard for the first time ever by myself and I went on my bike sorry I can hear things um, and I wanted to go through the graveyard so that's what I did I went through the graveyard really quickly there is these massive gates and then on either side there is four or five massive trees I want to say so I got through the gate and I got to the fourth tree going up to the fifth tree by the way there was nobody around I hear giggling in the back corner of the graveyard so I'm this way the back corner is that way and I heard giggling, my two little kids going <laughs> like they've done something that they shouldn't have done. I'm one handed on my bike, I turn around, nobody there. I carry on. By the way, I am a psychic medium and I do live in a haunted house. So there are going to be creepy things happening and I've got used to it, especially around Halloween. And then I want to say about four, for being a very roughly number in this story four or maybe five years later same with the trees four or five um I went up to my grandma's to go and give her some stuff that she wanted from the shop um I was fancying a walk and I wanted to go to the um skate park not too far away from my grandma's and then walk it back through the woods the skate park was full so I went straight to the woods and thought sod it I'll just walk it straight back home. As I got into the woods the woods were quite busy-ish just druggies and stuff and I sat down because I was knackered and it was it's all hills up all hills up and I sat down and I was speaking to my auntie on messenger at the time so if you can hear other things and um next minute I heard was come and find us you know where we are we want to play hide and seek with you or we're playing hide and seek so it was in the same corner where I heard the giggling this was the little kids that I could hear I could hear them say come and find us you know where we are we're playing hide and seek ready or not here we come I'm like oh god here we go again so I go walking down to the graveyard and I'm like, okay, I'm in the corner. What do you want me for? So they're like, come and find us. 
I'm looking around, I can't see any spirits, like, in, like through my eyes. They're like, I'm like, what do you mean, come and find you? They didn't want me to find them as a spirit. They wanted me to find their graves. So they knew, so then I knew where they were. There's a little lad called Peter, who's buried with his parents there. And there's several other little kids buried in that grave, in that little corner of that grave. And then I will add a little bit more into the story now. But I then, but then that day, I heard Peter speaking to me. And I, if I'm correct, I heard him say, she's found me or she's here. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? She's here? What does that mean? So then I went back the next day. I told my auntie about all of this. She is a psychic medium herself. And she told me to be very, very careful. I was going to leave sweets, but I have never. Um, and she told me to be very careful. So I was. I went back the next day. And as I'm walking up to the graveyard i heard peter again saying she's coming she's here i see her coming and i've never told anybody this but just in between the gates like it's a rail gate i saw a little boy and then i saw him run to the corner where he was buried um so yeah, and every so often I hear him when I go to the graveyard. I do have other ghost stories, so if you guys like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Again, thank you so much for 300 subscribers. And yes, every single, every single one of these ghost stories is real. Every single one of them has happened. And if you don't believe, that is fine. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.